It is known by many names. My people called it... Tomaplex. The Devourer of Worlds. It must feed on energy to survive. Hey guys, it's me, Tomplex here, back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review. That intro did not sound right. Let me, well, let's try that again. Hey guys, it's me, Tomplex here, back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review. That was much better. And today, I've got something very special. Two new books. This video is kind of important. Excuse me. This is going to be my last unboxing and review. Not forever. For a little while, because I have a bunch of books that I got, and I really want to review them and talk about them more, because there's some really great stories I want to tell, but also go in-depth with some of the art and stuff I, I'm looking at, and there are some really great things I wanted to do, but I actually did think about it, and here are a few things I actually wanted to do. <laughs> Wasn't that an awesome edit? <laughs> what did I just say? Wasn't that an awesome edit? But in the meantime, next week, I'm going to be going in depth into Comic Falling Spider Man. And I don't know if next, if the week after that is Christmas. The Christmas video I have planned is going to come out on the 24th of, Dece of December. And that's going to be a very good one because. I'm going to be doing a reading, and it's not going to be a comic reading. It's going to be a full-on, unedited, live video of my reading of A Christmas Carol. It is a great story. It's a beautiful book. Charles Dickens did an amazing job. It's an all-time classic, and I wanted to share it with you. It's going to be completely unedited, so it's going to be like a little audiobook for you guys from Tomplex as a Christmas gift to all of you. Without further ado, the two books I got, if you saw the teaser for last week, well, it's not really a teaser, it's just more of a snippet that you saw at the beginning of the video, is I collected the only Silver Surfer omnibus books that exist. And one is very hard to find and out of print, and this took a while to get, and the other is Dan Slott's Silver Surfer. But the first one, entire 18 issues of Silver Surfer, and that is 18-issue miniseries written by Stanley himself which is going to be pretty awesome. And the next one is Dan Slott's Silver Surfer Omnibus that collects stories from both 2014's run and 2015's run. Or so 2016, I don't know. Feature me, tell me what it is. <laughs> Alright, thank you. But without further ado, let's open the first one. I need a sword of a shanty, not a pencil of a shanty. Never mind. Just gonna have to open this with brute force. If I've been doing a lot of unboxing videos recently, it's just because there are, there was a list of books I wanted to try and collect. And now that I finished collecting all of those, I can move on to a second list, but I'm gonna do a bunch of other stuff first. Okay, so. I already know this. There's packing peanuts. Get ready for epic transition. Dear God, this is gonna be hell to clean up. Oh! All right, hold on, wait, is there anything else in here? I need to make sure. This is Silver Surfer Omnibus, book one, written by Stan Lee and is art illustrated by John Buscema. <laughs> This is in very, very brand new condition, still factory sealed. It is very beautiful. 
and this is actually a rough cut of the first issue which you can actually see on the back right here feature me put a bloated up version of that and it is replicating this beautiful cover and i think this is john ribbick his name is actually Assad ribbick it's a beautiful cover for a second i thought it was adi granov because of like the very sketchy painted look the back has a quote there is no reading on the back so it's most likely on the inside cover so it is this my destiny still lies before me where it begins that shall soar the silver surfer and this collects the silver surfer number one through 18 a material from fantastic four annual number five and not brand Eck number 13. That doesn't mean it's the actual issue. That doesn't mean that's the issue itself. Uh, those are just some bits that include Silver Surfer. The mainstream ones are entirely Silver Surfer. I never actually was into Silver Surfer. I actually only vaguely had some idea about the Silver Surfer. It's like, yeah, it's Guy Surfer. I never had any material. I never read much of material except for like Infinity Gauntlet that had some of Silver Surfer. He was a good character in that. And I just didn't think much after that. But then I saw a video from Stan Lee that said that uh, talking about the Silver Surfer and some of the philosoph uh, philosophical bit in it. And here was just a bit that I'm going to play for right now that really got me into it. I, I told Jack I want to use this character a lot. And he came to Earth and he would say things like and I don't remember the exact words, I'll just paraphrase it, but he would talk about the fact that we live in the greatest planet we could ever want. It has everything. It has clean, fresh air. It has sunlight, moonlight. It has all the water we could need. Most of the planet is water. It has beautiful growing things, all the food we could want, room for everybody. Why do we fight each other? Why do we hate each other? Why is there, what's the matter with us? Are we insane? And all the, and the kids loved him. That bit really got me interested because I love philosophical and in-depth stuff. And then I did a tiny bit of research about it and it blew me away. Like, so like I never really thought about it much. Then I watched the intro to the animated series and it blew me away. I, I was just into it that I was like, I have to get these books. I have to, I have to. And that was only like about a week ago. And then I saved enough money and here we are. Let's open this bad boy and read what's inside. I wish like there was a thing where it was YouTube smell where you could go like cogwheel click and you could smell like the inside of this book because it smells. <laughs> Beautiful. This has never been opened. The binding is still perfectly tightened to the book. Now, uh, let's see if there is like stuff on the side that needs to be read. So let me read. Yes, the Sentinel of the Spaceways, the Silver Surfer. Combining a masterwork of Marvel fiction by Stan Lee with stunning art by John Buscema, the Silver Surfer is one of the most, uh, is one of the most, the most, is one of the most, the most, there was a typing error in this. One of the most, the most beloved series from the Marvel Age of Comics. The Silver Surfer was launched in 1968 as a bi-monthly title boasting double-length 40-page stories. Its cosmic scope, polished high-concept art, and Lee's hyper-literate dialogue represented another step towards comic books being taken seriously by serious people. In these timeless tales, we meet Norrin Rad, a seeker of knowledge, of adventure, of something beyond the mundane life of his homeworld, Zemla. When Galactus descends upon his planet, Rad would get all of that and more, but at the cost he could never dare to imagine. The price to, for Zemla's salvation was Rad's transformation into the Silver Surfer, and a new role as the world devours unwilling Herald. But not even Galactus' might could suppress the surface compassion for the sanctity of all life, defying the very being that gave him the power cosmic. The surfer finds himself exiled on a planet Earth as punishment for his transgressions. He is mistrusted and hounded by humankind, even as he invariably casts the only being as the only being who can pr help protect us. So noble is the Silver Surfer that most ardent ne that is most ardent nemesis Mephisto proclaims his goodness of soul and purity of spirit. Unfortunately, for this martyr to cause, for this martyr to cause, to a cause, he never claimed as his own. The story in this volume recounts the 
many different ways those traits will be the surfer's downfall. In the stories ahead, you'll witness the surfer's confrontations, commiserations, and clashes with Thor, the warriors of Asgard, the gamma irradiated abomination, the inscrutable stranger, and fellow heroes like Spider-Man, the Human Torch, plus the classic ma matches of spiritual warfare between the Surfer and Mephisto in Lee and Buscema's most literal rendering of biblical fervor to be found in the Marvel Age. The, the complete original series is collected in this omnibus edition, including the final issue drawn by Surfer co-creator Jack Kirby. Each tale is lovingly restored, complete with original letters, pages, and a host of extras that will sate the comic appetite of you and any star-spanning entities you may know. That is going to be very awesome. I can't wait to read this. So let's open this book up and take a look. That's really beautiful. I mean, I'm not even joking. Like, this is just so amazing. The art very much is beautiful. It's very classic. I love that so much. It looks amazing. Everything inside is amazing. The binding is still perfect and tight. That is awesome. The art is amazing. The story sounds amazing. That is pretty cool. All right, so initial review. Silver Surfer Omnibus 1, 20 out of 10. Let's put this right here. And on to the next book, which is Dan Slot's Silver Surfer. Yep. All right, so off to this box to the other side. That is awesome. That is a really great cover. I am in love with that. And just seeing Galactus right there, the server, the board, the server, the surfer, and the board. We got a review on the back from James Gunn himself. A blast of a comic series by, from James Gunn, director of Guardians of the Galaxy. The art looks amazing. Uh, collect Silver Surfer 2014, number 1 through 15, and Silver, Surf Silver Surfer 2016, number 1 through 14. A material from all new Marvel Now, point number 1. So let's see, 30 issues total. Well, the art is amazing. I'm going to give that a 20 out of 10 right off the bat. So unique. Let's open this and we can read the back on the inside. That is beautiful. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is just really beautiful. Oh yeah, the art inside. It's the same as the one on the cover. That is awesome. It looks amazing. Everything is beautiful. I love it so much. All right, uh, I wonder if there's anything on the sides. For years, he has soared the spaceways, exploring the length and breadth of the cosmos, experiencing everything it has to offer. But now the Silver Surfer is about to meet someone who will change his life forever. Earth girl Dawn Greenwood and traveling with her. He will see it, it through he, he will see it all through thrush eyes. Dan Slot, amazing Spider-Man, and Michael Allred, Madman, take the surfer and his new companion on, and his board Toomey on a wild ride to the very edge of the Marvel Universe and beyond. Their Eisner Award winning run is destined to be remembered as the all-time and space classic. It's a really great concept too. So the story also, 20 out of 10. Yeah, overall, everything around the board has been A++ so far. That is really awesome. I can't wait to read either of these. So, in the order I'm going to go in this is I'm going to go Stanley Silver Surfer and then do Dance Slot Silver Surfer. All right, so that is my unboxing and initial review of both Silver Surfer Omnibus books thus far. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Subscribe to my friends. The channels are in the description down below. Please make sure to subscribe to me. It would really help with the channel a ton. And it would really also like help the channel grow and help me a ton too. And yeah, without further ado, thank you everybody so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see all of you on the flip side.